Market of Fear for the very latest. Let's go to Ankara. Our correspondent Jasper Mortimer is there. And Jasper, uh, what does this change in status or this move towards a change in status mean in practical terms for the Hagia Sophia? Well, I'm sure tourists will still be allowed to go into it, just as they go into the Blue Mosque, which is a few hundred metres away. Uh, they won't be allowed to go in while uh, Friday prayers, uh, the main prayer ceremony of the week, is on. I presume that's what happens in the Blue Mosque. Um, but I'm sure they will keep it open to tourists. But its primary function will be as a mosque, not as a museum. And unlike the Blue Mosque uh, just up the road, the Hagia Sophia was um, a Christian cathedral, wasn't it, for uh, a thousand years? And um, people from the Orthodox Christian Church have expressed concern about this move. What are they upset about? Well, the Greek Orthodox Church's uh, patriarch uh, came out very strongly and said, you know, while those who wish the Hagia Sophia Museum to become a mosque again are saying that it was a mosque for 500 years until Ataturk converted it into a museum. Uh, in fact, uh, Hagia Sophia was built as a basilica uh, in 1537, I think. Uh, sorry, 537 by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian. Um, and it served as a basilica, the centerpiece of the Greek Orthodox Church, uh, for 900 years. Uh, so its history as a church is almost double that of its history as a mosque. Uh, but today, in its ruling, the Council of State said that the Sultan who conquered Istanbul in 1453, Mehmed II, took possession of Hagia Sophia and willed it to his foundation as a mosque, and that the government has the duty to ensure that Mehmed's will is honoured. So the Council of State cancelled Ataturk's decision to make it into a mosque in 1934. Now, this is something President Erdogan has said that he is uh, in favour of. Uh, why, after 90 years, has the court decided that it should no longer be a museum and it should be reconverted back into a mosque? Well, I think this is basically the result of Erdogan's pushing. Uh, and as what is behind this? Um, Erdogan is facing falling support chiefly because of the state of the economy. There are 4 million people unemployed. The unemployed percentage is about 13%. Uh, and in the repeat elections in Istanbul last year, uh, the voters of two of the most conservative districts in the city, Fatih and Uskudar, and uh, Hagia Sophia is in Fatih, uh, voted against Erdogan's party. Moreover, uh, and it's a small Islamic party, Sadet, uh, said it wouldn't run in the repeat election, but it asked its voters to vote for, uh, against Erdogan. Um, and uh, so I see this as Erdogan's trying to consolidate the conservative vote in Turkey. But I don't think it will pay off. Come the next election time, this move will not count for much. Jasper, thank you very much indeed. Jasper Mortimer there in Ankara.